so we're headed out of the country and we got a little bit of a drive here but we're headed down towards the Minneapolis airport pretty big airport but I got a message from Doug saying he's got a layover here in Minneapolis he's heading back from Canada he was up there visiting uh, Jeremy at the simple little life uh, channel and uh, he said he's got a layover we're hoping we get an opportunity to meet him in person for the first time and, and shake his hand so that's where we're headed right now So we really have no plan of attack here. We're gonna just show up at the airport, try to find a place to park. And then uh, when Doug's plane gets in, hopefully try to figure out a place we can meet up. The hard part's gonna be security and then the time frame between the two flights. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, there's cars everywhere. You know, I used to kind of joke, kind of make fun of my aunt and uncle they'd come down and they'd be like 10 and 2 on the wheel and yeah. they drive so slow you know because they've lived out in the country their whole life I am just So we have a little bit of time to kill here. It looks like there is a time difference here, so a little miscommunication here, but probably have to wait around about an hour here to see if uh, this opportunity arises. I was out working in the woods when I originally got the message this morning, and uh, of course I had a handful of ticks all crawling on me, and I felt one crawl on me while we're here, and I went to go grab it and actually dropped it, so there's a tick running around this airport somewhere, so if anyone finds it, you can keep it. So we found Doug. It's a miracle. He's uh, just making a switch here. We run through security. We try to get everything lined up. If you guys aren't familiar with who Doug and Stacy is obviously not with today, but yeah. it's a fantastic channel. You want to tell them a little bit about the channel? Yeah, so we have a good time. We live off grid, no solar power, no wind turbines. You know, we use the wood cook stove, the whole nine. And no, I'm not Amish, but if you come check out our channel, you'll whole, find out the whole reason why I wear these clothes. But um, yeah, I can't believe that they actually made it and came to the airport. I'm even like gonna have to take my shoes off and everything again <laughs> and go through security. But I mean, it's so cool. You know, once a month on our channel, we do this thing called the Homestead Homie of the Month. And uh, so what happens is the people that really interact with the channel and everything, we give away a layman's exclusive cast iron skillet. And it's a clock that you can hang in your house. So. Congratulations, you won this month's uh, Homestead Homie of the Month Thank you. prize. I mean, this is like, I, I was just, it's flattering, it's cool, and uh, I was really glad to meet him too. I watch his channel all the time, and um, I got a couple semi trucks on the way up there while he's here at the airport, and they're actually gonna heist all of his wood and bring it to my house. <laughs> We've been trying to meet up with Doug here for quite a long time, and yeah. most of the stuff's all been down south. You get, what's that? Um, Homesteaders of America you guys are going to here? Yeah, so uh, we're doing the Homesteaders of America conference. It's in Virginia and it's October 14th. And then we've also, um, are gonna be at all the Mother Earth news fairs for the rest of the year. So if those are in any of your areas and if you think we're kind of quirky and you wanna come meet up with us, you know, come check it out. We'll talk to you and hang out and, you know, all that stuff. They had that one, I think it was in Wisconsin last year. So when we saw, yeah. you guys mentioned that, we would check and that you guys are, there, there's not one lined up this year there, so. Oh, oh not this year in yeah. Wisconsin? Oh, I see. So I don't know how Mother uh, does that, but I'm hoping that once we get it around them at this year, that they'll actually bring us on as speakers next year. So we'll be able to travel around and maybe we can meet up again. Yeah, so. Got an opportunity to shake Doug's hand. It's yeah. been a fantastic thing. Just the same guy is off camera as on camera. Just real down to people. And just crazy. <laughs> hey guys, and I know you guys are mostly subscribers to Eric's channel, so make sure you guys are sharing all of his videos on social media. Help get the word out about his channel. He does a great job. He really takes a lot of pride in his video editing. I mean, we're a lot more raw in our videos and stuff, so every time I watch him, it's like a cinematic production. He does a great job. So. You know, he's really pouring into this, and so you guys uh, just show your appreciation. Make sure you smash the share button, put it on your Facebook, your Instagrams, your Twitters, and uh, you know, make sure you're leaving comments because all that stuff helps his channel grow, and we know that's the end goal, right? Get the word out how we're living this lifestyle, and uh, only you can help make that happen. 
So a, a pretty unreal experience in some ways. There's a lot of people I watch on YouTube and it was just really nice to be able to meet Doug. Doug's one of those guys I've really wanted to meet up with at some point and most of the time they're out and they're doing stuff in other areas of the country. Fortunately there's not a lot of like homestead related type of stuff that happens in our area so it, and we don't travel very often. One is it's funds and then two it just like it's hard to sometimes get up and, and go. Uh, with, with some of the projects and stuff that we have going on. So it was a, it was a great opportunity to at least be able to shake his hand. He's, he's been a guy that's always treated us very, very well. Um, and every time I've ever sent him a message or something, just to kind of chat back and forth on different things, he's always been very responsive and, and uh, just always looks out for us. He's not one of those guys that's got like a big head or something like that that kind of gets full of himself, just a real down earth person. So I wanted to take you guys along on some of that. It was just a little fun adventure that we thought we would try um, getting on. I was actually out cutting wood this morning and I, he had, I saw that message from him. So, sure. We're gonna go stop at the uh, big huge uh, cemetery here real quick and then uh, head on home. decided to stop at Fort Snelling Cemetery uh, since we were down here as well. We wanted to get down here yesterday but of course yesterday was Memorial Day and things are very very busy and of course Memorial Day is a day about remembering the people that have uh, served to protect our country and uh, as well as like the people that are currently doing so. So wanted to get down show our respect. Um, we have some family stuff that's that's in there and, and uh, wanted to get an opportunity to spend a little time with them. And then, of course, uh, get an opportunity to meet up with Doug. So he was up there doing some stuff with Simple Little Life, Jerry up there, one channel that I just, I really love his stuff up there. He does a little bit of homesteading related stuff, uh, but his main like bread and butter is his knife making stuff, really high quality videos, just fantastic looking knives. I'd like to own a bushcraft knife by him at some point. Um, I think it'd be really cool if I could go out and mill some um, ash or something off our property, send it to him have build a handle or something like that and uh, get a knife made at some point so I'll put a link to his channel down in the description below but I thought I'd take you guys along it's kind of an exciting little adventure here this afternoon and uh, I don't know it's good time so hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching